What's up, boys and girls of the internet? My name's Shadowhunter, and this is Drift 101 for Forza Motorsport 7. Now, what we're going to be working with in today's video is three cars that I made a tune for. Um, they're all within a horsepower of each other, actually. Uh, it is the 80s BMW M5, the 1969 Boss 302 Mustang, and the um, Aero S14, uh, I think that's the 98 Sylvia. Um, all three of those cars I have tuned, they are either 349 or 350 horsepower. They're all running stock tires for uh, their respective car, which means the Mustang is on vintage tires. Um, the S14 has 195 width tires all the way around, and the um, BMW and the Mustang have 225 width tires all the way around. So they're pretty much stock, you know, I mean, well, whatever it took to get them to 350 horsepower. And they have full suspension, transmission, driveline upgrades. Pretty predictable. They're good for tight tracks, tandem with your buddies. And they are perfect for these drills that I have in today's video. First, we're going to go to the airfield in a free play lobby. And we're just, uh, we're just going to set it up to get to the open area so it's the full airfield, not the track version. Once we get onto the full airfield, it's going to spawn us in right in front of this barrel. So this barrel right in front of us here, we can go and we'll do drift donuts around that. So I'm using the Mustang in this clip. So pick your favorite one out of the three and then come try out these drills. So drifting around this barrel. Um, there's a couple different you know variations obviously you can just try to get around the barrel to do drift donuts um, Another variation is you can drift as close as possible to it without hitting the barrel So that's two different drills you can do with this barrel. I know I'm stretching it um, I guess what what this will kind of teach you here is to pay attention to your wheel speed so If you pay attention to when I start first doing donuts around the barrel I'm in first gear and I'm kind of having trouble getting enough drift angle to keep a solid spacing around the barrel uh, once I switch into second gear the wheel speeds going high and the, the wheel speeds high enough that the car has enough slip that it can keep a main and keep and maintain a decent angle while also maintaining a proximity that's respectable to the uh, the barrel here so just pay attention that with too much wheel speed um, the car won't catch grip you won't like you let off the gas but the car will keep kind of sliding like it, you're putting power down because the wheels are spinning so fast that as you let off the gas they're not catching grip fast enough um, or if you don't have enough wheel speed uh, you won't get enough angle to get around the turn in the fashion that you want to so just play around with drifting around the barrel and understand your wheel speed so a little to the left of where you spawn in, there's two large white circles kind of in between the plane and the little sewage blocked off fenced in area. Uh, these are where our next drills are going to take place. So the goal of this first drill is to do drift donuts inside the circle, keeping your bumper as close as possible to that white line. Uh, that will keep you, or that will teach you some car control about gauging how much wheel speed you need to keep your car sliding. Um, another thing to practice if you, once you start kind of getting the hang of controlling your car, uh, use the brakes, you know, tap on the brakes, or, you know, what we would consider maybe left foot braking. Um, do a little bit of that where you kind of control the front end to smoothen out if you're having some troubles or once you start realizing what you need to do for wheel speed. So if you think you're under rotating or over rotating, try tapping the brakes and seeing what that does for you. Um, once you kind of get the hang of doing the circles inside, uh, uh, doing the drift circles inside the circle, move to the outside of the circle. Uh, you'd be surprised at just what one car length will do to the line and how the car handles. So once you master or get comfortable doing donuts inside the circle, switch to the outside of the circle and instead of keeping your rear bumper as close as possible to the line, keep your front bumper, your front tire as close as possible to the line. Uh, then, you know, same thing, keep doing donuts until you kind of get the hang of it, switch directions after a while. Um, once you kind of can get that down where you're, you know, going both directions, inside and outside of the circle, uh, try doing a figure eight in between. So do a transition, so start doing, you know, clockwise one circle, do a transition and do clockwise, or counterclockwise in the other circle. 
do figure eight and with the transitions in between. Once you switch to the outside of the circles again, that car length, it really makes a difference. So pay attention and maybe use your, uh, this is where the left foot braking is probably gonna come into play more, trying to keep your front end in line. As you get comfortable doing the drifting and the figure eights between the inside and the outside of the circles, try to do a inside outside switch so say you're doing a counterclockwise circle and you're um, say you're going counterclockwise in one of the circles on the inside uh, mid circle switch and move to the outside and do half the circle on the outside switch and do half the circle on the inside um, switching your line mid drift practicing that will allow you to uh, get a little bit more avoidance skills when you're going in a public lobby and somebody spins out in front of you you'll be more comfortable changing your line mid drift because you're working on shifting in front and behind that line that one car length can really make a difference um, that that's really what we got for drift 101 here uh, depending on how this video goes over i have enough footage to do a 102 or a 202 for a couple more advanced drills if you guys would like to see that um, that would video would be using the m5 um, so let me go what you guys think about this uh this video we got some practice drills for you guys to uh, work on your car control to help you guys get better um, learning to drift is no overnight easy thing it takes years and years of practice well not okay it doesn't take years and years of practice but the most valuable thing when it comes to drifting and getting better at drifting is actually practicing uh, good luck to you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.